An epidural is an anesthetic technique that consists of administering drugs in the epidural space via a catheter inserted into the lower back. It alleviates or eliminates contraction-induced pain by acting on the pain-transmitting nerves. This technique has now become very popular. Nowadays, over 80% of women who give birth in our institution benefit from an epidural. This film has been prepared for pregnant women who wish to know more about the technique and how it is performed. Different anesthetic techniques are used for vaginal and cesarean deliveries. Another contraction. Oh. Exhale. Oh, God, it hurts. In the delivery room, the midwife or the obstetrician observes that labor has begun and that contractions are effective. Just let it happen. The epidural may be administered at any time during labor. The pain becomes more intense as labor progresses and the cervix dilates. If you would like to have an epidural, yeah. do not hesitate to ask for it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to prepare a few things for you, then call the anesthetist, and as soon as she can. Okay. All right? Yes. Your baby is doing well. Listen, everything is fine. How are you doing? It's hard. Yes, it is it's difficult, hard. but we're here to help you, yes. okay? I need to ask you a few questions before inserting epidural, then I'll explain how it works. A preoperative anesthetic consultation is held in the case of high-risk pregnancies and elective caesareans. Have you ever had an operation? No. Or anesthesia? No. No. Are you allergic to any medicine? No. Are you currently taking any medicine? No. No. Do you have any questions regarding the epidural? Will it affect the child? The epidural drugs don't reach the baby. However, the epidural could lower your blood pressure, so we will keep a constant watch on it. Other than this, another risk or possible complication, which often occurs, but it's not an allergy and it's not dangerous, is that some women, about 50%, experience little itching on the upper part of the body, sometimes a bit on the face, the itching is totally harmless and normally disappears within an hour or two. There is also a risk of headache, but this is very rare. But it sometimes occurs. After the baby's born? Yes, it usually happens after delivery, not during it. In order to avoid neurological or infectious complications, the anesthetist rigorously adheres to the contraindications for an epidural, particularly clotting problems or severe infections. I'm touching your back to locate the right spot. Do you feel my finger? Yes. Now push against my finger to round your back. There, perfect. Great. Now hold this position as well as you can. I'm starting to have a contraction. Okay, breathe slowly. I'm not going to do anything right now, but tell me when the contraction is over so I can continue, all right? The anesthetist adapts herself to your contraction rate. Breathe slowly. She disinfects your skin before placing a large paper sheet over your lower back. This is to guarantee that the epidural is done under sterile conditions. There we go. I will now administer a local anesthetic. It's just a small puncture and shouldn't be too unpleasant, but it will sting and heat up just a little. There, I'm done. We'll wait a few seconds for the local anaesthetic to start working. You should now feel some pressure on your back. It's normal for you to feel me pushing and to feel pressure. I'm trying to locate the epidural space. The anaesthetist looks for the epidural space. A combined spinal epidural anaesthesia consists of injecting a local anaesthetic directly into the cerebrospinal fluid, just as in a spinal tap. The anesthetist then starts a continuous drip via the epidural catheter. The epidural needle is then removed, but the catheter remains in place throughout the labor until the child is born. The midwife will remove it after delivery. Then the anesthetist covers the catheter with a dressing so that you may lie comfortably on your back. I'm removing the bit of paper I stuck on your back to apply the dressing. The spinal injection takes effect almost immediately, generally in less than a minute. 
whereas the epidural injection can take up to 15 minutes to reach maximum effect. The epidural is in place. This is our nurse anaesthetist, Virginia, who came in while I was preparing the epidural. You're getting a combined spinal epidural anaesthesia. As you've noticed, the first dose took effect rather quickly to enable you to relax and get some strength back. We will now connect the epidural catheter to a little pump just behind you. You can't see it, but it's there to ensure that the pain doesn't return. This small device delivers a constant flow of the same mixture of anaesthetic drugs that you got as mm -hmm. your first dose. I understand. You can control the amount of anaesthetic yourself. By pushing this little button at any time to get an extra dose, if and when you need it. Okay. The idea being that as things progress, and you will probably feel the need, maybe three or four times, it all depends, you can simply push the button. This technique allows us to give you a relatively small dose of anaesthetic knowing that you can add an additional dose whenever you choose. If a cesarean section proves necessary during labor, the anesthesia will be delivered via the epidural catheter already in place. There. Do you feel better? Oh, yes. Much Good. better. <sighs> it really changes things, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It's heaven. The midwife checks your blood pressure and pulse regularly while the epidural is working. In the case of an emergency caesarean, when no epidural has been started, and in the event of a planned caesarean section, a different technique is used. Yeah. Hello, I'm part of the anesthesia team and need to ask you a few general questions. This woman is having a planned caesarean section. Take advantage of the consultation with your anesthetist to ask any questions that you may have. Could I get back pain from the anesthesia after delivery or a few days later? Some women do tell us that they feel a little sore in their lower back where they had the anesthesia. This soreness is actually from the puncture itself, like the pain you feel on the back of your hand after having had a drip. It's generally an uncomplicated minor pain that disappears within 24 to 48 hours and responds well to the drugs we give in any case to alleviate the pain from the caesarean. We also know that many women report having back pain for even longer during the first few weeks after delivery. Altogether, up to 40% of women who give birth, whether with or without anaesthesia, say they experience back pain. So when you ask, will my back hurt after delivery, the answer is maybe. Whether or not it will be anaesthesia-related, probably not. Do you have any other questions? In any case, if you think of something else to ask about, we'll be seeing each other again on the day of the caesarean. That's fine. Is that OK? Yes. So take care, and we'll see each other soon. See you Goodbye. Soon. Bye. On the day of your planned caesarean section, you will be admitted to a room in the prenatal unit. A midwife will install a drip. I'm listening to the baby now, and will listen once again when we get to the operating room. And after that, you'll be holding the baby in your arms. You will then be taken to the operating room in the maternity ward, where you will have your caesarean section. Relax your shoulders. There. Can you feel my hands on your back? Mm -hmm. The anesthetist will show you the best position, where you round your lower back by pushing towards the lumbar area. That's perfect. Now I'm going to disinfect your back with the sterile solution. It will feel a bit cold. And now I'm going to apply a sterile paper sheet. You'll feel me sticking it onto your skin. A local anesthetic is used to prepare the spot where the injection will be made. You may feel a slight tingling sensation. It's a bit unpleasant, but doesn't last long. For a caesarean section, the anesthetist uses a technique called spinal anesthesia. Spinal anesthesia consists of injecting a local anesthetic into the liquid that surrounds your spinal cord. 
the injection needle is then removed. Nothing is left in your back. There, I'm done. We can lay you down now. I'm removing the bit of paper. Now I'll just lower the table. For a caesarean section, the goal of anesthesia is to block all sensation. The doses used are much higher than those used for vaginal delivery. Here, we'll show you. Here's Mama. Here's Papa. After the birth of your child, you will be taken to the recovery room where you will remain under observation for about six hours before returning to your room. We'll keep you here a few hours. 